welcome to my second video. We are here to learn about the audiovisual aids. And let's start. What are audiovisual aids? According to Kinder, audiovisual aids are any device which can be used to make the learning more effective, more concrete, more realistic, and more dynamic. Objectives of using audiovisual aids to increase the effectiveness of the teaching, to hold the attention span of the learner for the duration of instruction, and to save time. We learn and retain. Higher levels of retention can be achieved through active involvement in learning. 50% of what we hear and see, 30% of what we see, 20% of what we hear, and 10% of what we read. Educational Significance of Teaching Aids Use of all sense organs Based on maxims of teaching Helpful in drawing attention A good motivating force A good substitute for direct experience Provide clarity in subject matter Helps in fixing up new learning Meet the individual difference requirements Facilitates quick comprehension and retention of concepts. Helps in positive transfer of learning. Overcome possible hurdles during teaching. Characteristics of teaching aids. The advantages. Accurate. Simple and cheap. Motivate the learners. Improvised. Large in size. Comprehensibility. Cost effective interesting availability transportability problems and limitation in the use of audiovisual aids apathy of teachers man rather inertial when it comes to accepting change a vast majority of teachers still prefer to use the chalk talk method through which they were taught hence they are generally change resistant indifference of students Judicious use of teaching aids will arouse interest, but sometimes it could enhance boredom and indifference at times. Financial problems The one-time investment in these aids is costly and may not be affordable by all schools. Absence of infrastructure Lack of basic facilities, electricity, projectors, chart stands, laboratory rooms, etc. Language barriers most software is in English. Films, CD, audio cassettes, hence not suitable to regional medium schools. Do not replace the teacher. Colors are misused. Require more time for planning and preparation. It tends the teacher to narrow down the subject. Classification of AV aids. Traditional type of classification. Number one, audio aids. Examples are radio, tape recorder, mic, CDs, microphone, dictaphone, headphone, and etc. Number two, visual aids. Examples are chalkboard, bulletin board, chart, drawings, posters, pictures, exhibits, flashcards, flannel boards, and etc. Number three, audiovisual aids. Lecture, demonstration, television, films, computers, etc. Classification based on type of projection. Project aids. Examples are silent motion pictures, film strips, magic lanterns, micro projection, slide projection, opaque and overhead projector. Project aids. Different types of boards, display material, photographs, posters, maps and graphs, charts, specimens, book and illustrations. Classification based on motion or movement. These are divided into two, which are static aids and dynamic aids. Static aids are those used in classroom teaching which do not move. Examples, charts, flashcards, slides, OHP, etc. Dynamic aids 
those aids in which visuals or parts which are capable of being made to move by mechanical principles. Example, working models, motion pictures, television, and computers. Classification based on dimension of object. These are also divided into two, which are two and three dimensional aids. First one, in these aids, only two dimensions, that is width and height, are only visible. Example, charts, graphs, maps, pictograph, boards of different types. 3D aids. In these aids, all three dimensions of length, breadth, and height are visible. Example, models, globes, objects, mock-ups, specimens, puppets, and etc. Classification based on size of media. Two types. First one is big media. Includes computer and television. While the little media are radio, film strip, graphics, audio cassettes, etc. Classification based on the number of sense organs used. There are also two types. First one, unimodal. Unimodal is those in which only one type of sense, that is either sight or auditory, are used. Examples, audio aids or visual aids. The second one is bimodal. Bimodal is those in which both the sense organs, visual and auditory, are used. They could be classified as electronic or non-electronic. Non-electric, these are books, handouts, chalk and board, mannequins, models, and flip arts. While the electric, these are overhead projector, slide projector, and computer. Steps Planning Know clearly the objectives of the presentation. Plan well in advance. Anticipate the problem. Anticipate the size of audience. Think about the quality of material to be used. Preparation. Select the convenient and comfortable place. Seating arrangement must be suitable. Make sure that all equipment are in working order before presentation. Prepare by rehearsing to make smooth presentation. Presentation. Motivate the audience and stress key points they observe during the presentation. Present aids at right moment in a proper sequence. Display only one aid at a time. Remove all unrelated materials. Stand beside the aid, not in front of it. Evaluation. By providing discussion and feedback, evaluate the effectiveness or audiovisual aids and the lecture. Know the principles which are principles of selection, principles of preparation, principles of physical control, proper presentation, principle of response, and principles of evaluation. Know the audiovisual tips. Select the correct aid. Prepare prior to instruction. Be familiar with the equipment. Know how to use the aid. Make sure all students can see and hear the aid. Check for effect in the class. Practice using different types of aids. Be flexible. Select an audiovisual aid that is appropriate for teaching the training. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys learned something and thank you so much for watching. Just please leave a like and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you for the next vlog. Okay, bye!